Welcome back, everyone, as we continue with All Quiet in the Trenches. If you haven't seen this series up to this point, there is a link down in the description that will take you all the way back to the beginning so you can get caught up. We are into 1916 now. And uh, fingers crossed, it's been a while since we've lost anybody. We do have one man in the hospital, Danner, wounded. But we did come through that latest fight relatively unscathed. Uh, there has been an update to the game. We are running on 0.62. Remember, this is still early access. They just updated to 0.7. Some major updates to the combat system, things like that. But we can't upgrade to it. I upgraded to it, and it wouldn't let me load the save game. So I had to revert back to 0.62. So we will finish out this, uh, this entire series with that version. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on. Uh, hospital's getting overburdened again. Uh, We'll do everything in our power to save Danner, Herr Unter uh, So we're going to offer some assistance. And I think that will probably help us with the chances of keeping him alive. But let's see what else we're going to be asked to do. Uh, full commitment, yes. Is there anything else? Your group is this all. So they haven't gone home yet. Because in the last episode, you might remember, we were told that we were going to get to go home on leave. I assumed maybe that already happened, but it hasn't happened yet. Uh, we're assigned to guard duty, fine. All right, so we're gonna see if there's anything else. Got separated from the from the field. It's been a chaotic couple of hours, but I'm back now. Now there were scenarios. I can't speak to the German army as much because I'm not as familiar with their system, but there were scenarios where things like this happened and guys got brought up on charges for desertion and in some cases even executed if it happened more than once. So. Um, we're going to let it slide for now. Let's see what's going on with lots of here. We are short of firewood. All right. So we've got a lot we need to do here, and we'll start with chopping firewood. Everybody's exhausted. That's the only problem here. Um, we're not really giving each other, uh, giving others a chance to rest. So I'm not going to send everybody. We'll at least let lots of rest even though it was his idea what is this oh my gosh just stretched all over the place cone behaved very decently on his patrol i'm very grateful awesome okay these guys are not getting rest unfortunately All right, we've gotten a little better on rations. Hair Major is planning an attack. Prepare your men. You've got to be kidding me. They're exhausted. Cone barely lifted a finger. Okay. Wow. This is nuts. These guys are just being stretched to the limit. No, we're not going to get a break. That's the problem. Danner is the only one getting any rest, and that's because he's in the hospital. Yes, thank you. Please. Double rations. Beautiful. That should hopefully help. We got... Home leave is in four turns, but we've got a fight in two. It's going to really suck if any of these guys die before they get to go home on leave. That leave is going to help a lot, though. Because these guys are just stretched to the limit. Let's take a look at them for a second here. Oh, my gosh. Unreal. They're just all exhausted. At least three of them get to rest this time. So we are hitting uh, February of 1916. We're into Verdun now. This is the Battle of Verdun. Deadliest time for a lot of these guys. This group was camped next to ours, and our men often spent their free time together. A rat infestation had destroyed the group's food stash almost completely. Uh, I'm responsible for my people. I'm sorry, dude. Sorry.
Go to the higher-ups, not to somebody else. So we're still in bad mood. We've still got high prestige. Oh, I know we're going into battle. So what's going on here? Nothing. I mean, we're going at it. We've got home leave and two more turns. But I've got an exhausted group. Work your way into one of the well-protected covers in front of the enemy trench. Hold out there. As soon as the artillery comes to a standstill, attack immediately and finish off the rest. Hopefully the artillery doesn't land too short and screw this whole thing up. That's the thing I'm worried about. Okay, so right now we're just doing general suppression, uh, but we're supposed to move into the area where the attack's going to be launched from. So let's go over to here because it's, I think, better protected. And I think it'll give us a better jumping off point. Yeah, we've still got to move forward further. We can't take too long to do it. So let's move over to there. Still pretty low danger. Got all six guys. There's other squads coming up with us. We still need to move further forward. There's where we want to be. Is right down in there. It's about as safe a spot as I can probably find in no man's land. Alright, we still have to move for all. Oh, we're, we're attacking all the way up there, so we've got to get up further still. Keep moving, boys. Don't stop. Don't get pinned down out there. Now we're in a pretty safe spot. Hopefully this is where we're supposed to stay. Hold this position at all costs till you receive further instructions. Don't let the French get too close and you won't have any problems. Yeah, easier said than done. little bit concerned about where we are. Yeah, we're going to hold that section. I'm not going to assign a specific task. I'm just going to do, do general suppression for now. Alright, now what? Encourage comrades! Okay. We just got to keep holding here. Hopefully the artillery keeps us covered. Because then we're going to have to attack. I appreciate the uh, continued confidence there, sir. Fervor. We've got two guys with fervor going on here. Let's specifically suppress those guys right there. The other three will do general suppression. Got the artillery hitting in the right spot. That's good. French cannot defend themselves against this artillery barrage. Attack! Storm the trenches for the Kaiser and the Fatherland! Let's go, boys! Uh, where do we go? What's the best way to do this? Because that do, does not look like it. Well, it's just grenades we got to worry about. the best place to go. I feel like this is probably it right there. Oh, well, we'd be too far forward if we do that. So let's just stay tight. Stay where we are. We got to wait for the other troops to advance with us. Where are we at, boys? Oh, they're way back there still. Jeez. I'm going to wait one more turn. Hopefully they get up a little closer. A lot of French soldiers in those trenches. I'm hit, but it doesn't hurt that much. Menka was hurt. It was hit. Oh, no, it's Latza. Okay. Somebody's got a rifle jam. Schmidt Bauer. Oh, boy. We're taking casualties now. Fix it. Oh, 
All right, so Hunt is doing first aid for Lotza. Where are we at? All right, the guys are getting closer now. Let's wait one more turn and then we'll advance. Oh. Don't stop treatment. All right, let's move forward. Only got three guys going in. All right, let's keep going. I need some help up here, guys. Good, your rifle's working again. That's what we like to see. Uh, five seems like the bigger threat at the moment. So let's suppress them. And then we'll do general suppression with the other three. We've got everybody fighting right, that, right now. So even though one was wounded, he's, he's fit to continue. That's what we like to see. We're already in the next trench. Come on, guys. Get up here. We're leading the way. All right. So we've got some Germans in the trench over there to our left. That's good. Oh, boy. We're being outflanked by the enemy now. We've got to move to another spot. Let's get over here. Oh, somebody's got to stay and give first aid is the problem. Everybody else is going to get around the corner. Alright, somebody's got to escort him to the field hospital. That's not helpful. We need to give covering fire. Let's throw a hand grenade. And then search the knapsack. Okay. It's getting a little complicated now. Kind of nervous. Could really use some more help here. What do we find? Oh, we ran out of ammunition? You gotta be kidding me. Ugh. Okay, he found some. Good. Enemies on the flank removed. We've got some French soldiers right here. Let's sit tight right where we are. While the rest of these guys move up. Because otherwise we're going to get in a difficult situation. Alright, they're withdrawing. Excellent. Excellent. Exceptional prestige. Because we led that attack. We were the first ones down here. It's a good way to go out before our leave. All right, what next? Do we go up after these guys here? Up on the fire step. The rest of our comrades are moving into position now. French are falling back. Excellent. Out of breath, that's not ideal. But I still think we're pretty good to stay right where we are. These French soldiers are kind of caught in the middle, right here. They're in the middle of all of our guys. Insubordination. Demand obedience. Dude, suck it up. We showed them we're victorious. Three hurrahs for the Kaiser. Awesome. Exceptional prestige. And now we get leave, I think. If we get back to camp and this guy tells me, no, never mind, you're not getting leave, I am not going to be a happy man. Because we are absolutely supposed to go on leave next. All right, we're going to send somebody to chop firewood. Everybody's exhausted, but they'll survive because we're about to go on leave. We're going to send two guys on a patrol. We're going to send our tolerant people for that. Uh, all right, whatever. 
That's fine. Standard rations will do. We're almost into March of 1916. Abysmal mood. Danner has developed a severe fe fever. We need somebody to help out. We're going to send Cone. He's fairly compassionate. Somebody's got to go on latrine fatigue. All right, it should be time for break, for our leave. Lotsi had been getting drunk all evening with some of his comrades. It was already late when all of a sudden he bellowed into the crowd, It's all bollocks! How much longer are we supposed to croak here in the mud for this bloody war? Soldiers around him fell silent. Some looked over at me. I mean, I think it's what everybody's thinking, but you can't say it out loud. It hurts morale. Um, can't let him talk like that. You are a soldier. Behave accordingly, otherwise there will be consequences. Forgive me, Herr Unteroffizier. I'm sloshed. Better go lay down. Yeah, he's right. All right, let's 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 go on leave, boys. Come on. Please tell me we're going on leave. Schmidt Bauer, of all people, who is usually so eager, said, Herr Unteroffizier, you would not happen to know, I mean, at my age, with my upbringing, my position... This guy wants a promotion? My right hand man, this flattered him of course, nevertheless he continued to eternally, gra eternally grapple with the question. Uh, do you have a theory about all of this? Nothing. I'm just going to tell him the file says nothing. So he thinks that he should be above me, huh? He's writing reports when the sound of the busy activity in our camp gradually died down. Hunt was there, visibly fighting tears. Oh no. We lost Danner. Ah, first guy we've lost in quite a while. Honor his sacrifice to the fatherland. These guys have to continue to believe that there's a purpose, though it's harder and harder to argue that. Our home leave began today. We're really going home. Everything seems so unreal. The passing landscape. Yeah. But we're going to come back home and find out that things aren't much better at home than they are in the front as far as supplies and things like that. How many more? That's right. We're not even halfway through the war. Now was a time for home, family, and living life while it lasted. Wow, so that's actually as far as it goes right now in Early Access. We plan to expand this version in the course of Early Access and add the remaining years until it hits November 1918. Has high re replayability. Okay, so I guess that's as far as we get. I didn't realize that it didn't go all the way to the end. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Uh, I think we're going to come back with some Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts next. That'll be our new series that will start in the coming days. I'm excited to get into that one now that it's it's fully fleshed out it's a very different game than we last played it so be watching for that if you haven't already subscribed please consider doing that and we'll see you again soon thanks for watching